Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Susan Kim. We are following a very sad story today in Milwaukee. Two children killed in a fire. The fire started at about 2 o'clock this morning near 91st and Allen on the northwest side. The children were trapped in a second floor bedroom. Neighbors tried to help, but the flames were just too much. Everybody tried to get in there, um, kicking in doors and everything, but it's, we wasn't, we wasn't successful. Mm -hmm. And it's very hurtful because they too young to die. <laughs> Authorities say the victims were a 10-year-old girl and 6-year-old boy. Fire crews also responded to a blaze at a department building in Pewaukee. Red Cross telling us they're assisting nearly 30 residents who were displaced by that fire. We don't have any reports, though, of anyone being hurt. Milwaukee police are investigating a deadly motorcycle crash near 60th and Capitol. This happened at about 3 o'clock this morning. The medical examiner tells us the victim died at the hospital. At this point, it is unclear exactly what caused this crash. We do expect to learn more today about the continued search for the people who killed a police officer in Fox Lake. Police in Illinois have been in contact with law enforcement in Kenosha County here in Wisconsin to see if there's any connection to suspects. Investigators uh, do think that they're nearby. But so far, no proof has been found. Funeral services for Lieutenant Joe Glenowitz will be held on Monday. Today, the Franklin community will finish preparing the site for a playground in memory of a young girl. Kayla's crew has been working the last couple of days to get the site ready for the community build, which will take place the week of September 22nd. The group was inspired after the death of eight-year-old Kayla Runti. They wanted to build a playground that was fully accessible for physically challenged children. This is your last weekend to watch movies outside in Milwaukee parks. Never ending story will run tomorrow night at Humble Park and E.T. A Despicable Me is the double screening there Sunday night at Veterans Park. We got a little relief from the humidity and the temperatures uh, late last evening after a high of 86 on Thursday in Milwaukee and 90 in Kenosha. Some of the cooler air to the north because of the clouds and that northeast wind started to settle in. And you could just feel the difference as the afternoon and the evening was wearing on. And we got a little bit of a break this morning as well after temperatures have been in the lower 70s and upper 60s the past couple of mornings. This morning, upper 50s to lower 60s. Not a big difference, but trust me, it felt so much more comfortable than it has in the past couple of mornings. We've also had a little bit of fog along the lakefront and in some spotty inland areas, but that seems to be lifting. We're left with this cloudy sky right now, but that'll gradually break up and leave us with hazy sunshine. 65 degrees this morning. Dew points are in the low to mid 60s. Humidity at 97% and a light northwesterly wind. You can see that cloud cover uh, from Green Bay down to Milwaukee, and we'll continue to see that throughout the morning hours, but gradually breaking up throughout the afternoon. Here's your visibility as of 7 o'clock in the morning. Half mile visibility in Milwaukee and Racine, also Beaver Dam. Perfect visibility up toward Fond du Lac, so it is patchy. Temperatures this morning can continue to be in the low to mid 60s with that cloud cover and once that sun does come out the temperatures are going to start warming up pretty quickly 62 in brown deer 64 oak creek and 63 in west dallas that really sticky air is off to the west it's not like we're very comfortable we are still humid and damp outside but it's just not quite as steamy as it has been the past couple of days but that unfortunately does return tonight and through the weekend and finally on Monday, we'll start to see a little bit of an improvement. You can see on the dew point forecast, steamy tomorrow, very humid on Sunday, just a little of improvement on Monday. And then finally Tuesday and into rest of next week, that dry, cool Canadian air makes its way back in here behind the cold front Monday afternoon. Today on the Goddard Gauge, once we get this fog and this cloud cover out of here, we'll give it a nine. Hazy sunshine, upper 70s to lower 80s. Not quite as humid, still damp out there, and a light easterly breeze keeping those temperatures down just a little bit. So quiet conditions for the next couple of days. We'll have just a slight chance of a shower popping up this afternoon and once again tomorrow afternoon. It's like a 10% chance. Most of us don't even see a drop of rainfall. And then for Sunday, it looks to be quiet, plenty of sunshine, hot and humid. And then here comes the cold front. That'll be here by Monday morning. And with that, we'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms likely throughout the day. High temperatures tomorrow, a little bit cooler at the lake with that southeast wind. Softville and Sheboygan will be in the 70s, 86 in Milwaukee, and look at the 90s in the inland areas. Around the state, mid to upper 80s, even some 90s around the area, and humid for the entire state. Here's your forecast for today. 77 in Milwaukee, gradually becoming mostly sunny. 83 inland with a northeast wind at 5 to 10. Tonight, some patchy fog and temperatures uh, back up into the upper 60s with a light southeasterly breeze. Here's your seven-day forecast. The holiday weekend, 86 on Saturday, 88 very humid on Sunday. Thunderstorms likely on Monday. Showers likely on Tuesday and getting cooler next week.